and welcome. This is uh, my open house uh, virtual presentation. My name is Mr. Aviles. This is the Bell High School Home website. And I will be presenting the way my classes are structured in Schoology and pretty much explain how I run the class and what we do in my class, in my classes. Uh, again, my name is Mr. Aviles. I am a math teacher here at Bell High School. And let's go ahead and go to my Schoology uh, page here. Here are my different classes. Uh, when students go to their math class, uh, they will click into the class. And the first thing that we do in my, in my class is when the, the opening activity, the students will uh, click into this Padlet. Students will click into this Padlet and I put about three, maybe four sample problems here, review problems that we're able to study we're able to practice and review to start the class. And I post the problems here. And the great thing about this Padlet is that students are able to do their work at their desk and they're able to submit and post and they can actually share their work with everyone else in the class. And as you can see, I have a lot of students that participate and are showing their work and they're verifying that their work is correct. Um, so here's um, four problems for a pre-calculus pre class. And you can see students are working on the problems and I can see, and this gives me feedback of how well they're learning it and how much more practice we may need. And again, they can click into it and they can see and compare and share work. This is for a period of one class. I also have a, a pre-calculus class. This would, this is a sample for a pre-calculus class. If I go to my uh, algebra one class, for example, I also do this for, for all grade levels. And I'll click into the Padlet. And this is the opening activity. So this constant review and this constant practice definitely helps these students improve their math and, and get stronger and practicing these skills and, and the sections that we learn. Even though we move on uh, to other sections, we keep practicing problems so that they don't forget them and they, they so that they get stronger. And so when the test comes up, um, I mean, we've been, we review every day. So pretty much they're ready. They're ready for the test if they've, if they're participating and they're doing um, this activity. So I find it really, really valuable for, for, for students to, uh, to do this continuous practice uh, the first 10 minutes of class. Okay, going back to uh, our folders here, the way my folders are structured in any specific period. So I'm going to go ahead and just click into uh, a period one pre-calculus class here. Um, the students will not see my emergency lesson plans, but they are there in case, in the case that I, that there's emergency or I don't plan an absence or something, I will publish this folder and, and there's work for students to do. But for the most part, students will see uh, one, actually this is parent conferences. This already passed. They actually won't even see that. They'll just see class information, assignments, Assignments, uh, when I give them assignments, this is where the students look. If we click into this green folder, all the assignments starting from the very first day of the semester uh, are here. So if a student is out a day or two or a week, uh, students can still come back and actually watch the video lesson because I do record my lessons. And students are able to uh, click into here and actually watch the video and still uh, not miss out on this on this lesson. And then the assignments there. All the lessons are there from the very beginning of the semester. Um, here's one that started in January, which is the spring semester. And as you can see, they're different colors. This is the first week. 
I, I just use different colors so students can kind of just tell them apart. The first week, the second week is purple, and, and so on. And so I have all the assignments here. Students, students can catch up. I know some students can fall behind, but I'm able to post all the assignments here. And for any day, because all the days are there, students can come back and whatever they're missing or they didn't understand, I have the video lessons there and the assign and the assignment as well. Um, so that's there. And this is where the students will find the assignments for, for each day or for any day they need. And to submit the assignments, they go to the blue folder here. And this is where they, they submit their assignments into Schoology. And again, uh, the same date and the same name of the assignment will correspond to to the same uh, name and date here. So here's where the students find the assignments. Here's where the students submit them into Schoology. Uh, when we have exams, the students uh, go here and I post the, the exams here for the day. Okay, uh, lastly is the pad, uh, the class information, sorry, the class information. Uh, I have, I created how-to videos in the beginning of the semester. Some students didn't know how to uh, create a Delta Math account, which is an online platform that we use that has uh, math problems and worksheets that I create. So sometimes they, they forget how to create an account or for students that missed it, how to email their counselor or a coach or any other staff member. Um, uh, mo most importantly, this one, how to scan their assignments. How do they submit their assignments that they do at home on a piece of paper? How do they scan it and how do they submit it into Schoology? Well, here's a how-to video how to do it. And just other helpful videos of different things that we use in class and that we do in class. Uh, even something as simple as uh, using a graph, an online graphing calculator, that's here. Uh, how to find it, what's the website, how to use it. Uh, and even our online textbook. We have an online textbook in case uh, the student is not at, at home and the textbook is, or, or the textbook's not there with them. There's a way here, uh, right here on the side, where they can find their, their textbook. But again, it's explained here in these, these how-to videos that I created. And I find that really helpful. The class syllabus. Here's where you'll find um, more information on my class and the, the school-wide, the school mission, the learning outcomes, the expected school-wide school learning outcomes, the book we use the description of my course, and just other information, but my grading policy and my grading scale as well. But most importantly, most importantly is right up at the top, right here, right here, right here, is my email address. So parents or students, if they need to email me, while well, students have Schoology, but parents, here is my direct uh, email address if you need to get in contact with me you can send me an email it's here on the classroom syllabus okay what else do we have here in this class uh, information yellow folder we got the how to videos we got the syllabus the pacing guide is pretty much the breakdown of all the section and the units that we're covering the different pages and the books, the sections that, and, and the, all the material and the different math topics that we're using. That is the pacing guide and how we're, we're going to cover it, how many days we're spending on each of these, uh, these units. That is the pacing guide. Uh, what else do we have here in class information? Uh, the BAL schedules. The students are familiar with the BAL schedules. They can also find these on the BAL website. Tutoring information as well. They can find it here. Or they can find it on the Bell website. And I also added here graph paper where students are able to, if they need to 
print some extra graph paper that they don't have any graph paper well um, I'm able to click into it or they're able to click into it and if there's a printer at home uh, they can print out some graph paper okay so it's a uh, pretty pretty simple I keep it really simple what what we do and how we do in class again everything is here on assignments any student for whatever reason is out or missed whichever assignment they can still make it up they can still turn it in late and the same thing is true for tests this is really important students are able to retake their tests if they do poorly on a test or so they have the opportunity to retake a test but all the assignments are here all the assignments are here for every day for any given day of this whole semester so as the semester goes um, I'm adding the assignments for each day okay so students are able to still you know complete late work and they're able to retake a uh, test to to do better in the class okay and I think that is all just remember that if you need to get in contact with me hopefully you can email me here through your Schoology if you have access parents or you can ask your your child to log into Schoology and you can email me here's a little email icon or again go here to the uh, yellow folder the class syllabus and my email address is right here on the top okay thank you so much i hope this was helpful